Hey guys, it's Mike from Indie Development, and we're going to pick up a part two in our Game Piece tutorial series. Uh, in this part, we're going to actually look at um, filling out our, our menu XML file and going in and setting up our layout that we're going to be using for our main activity. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on that. And what we'll do is we will actually let's do the menu first. So under menu here, under your resources menu, <clears throat> whatever you named yours, uh, let's just go over into the XML part of this. Remove this item. We're just going to basically put the same thing that we did um, on the tic tac toe part as well, on this part. So item Android ID equals at plus ID. And we'll call it new game. And then do Android title equals new game. You can actually make a string if you want and put your strings in here. I'm just going to do this real quick. And the icon that we will use will be uh, the Android Drawable, which is the same one that we use for the Tic Tac Toe tutorial one. Close that out. Another uh, item we'll have is going to have an ID of oops, uh, Exit Game. And its title is going to be Exit Game. And let's might give it a little bit. Okay. And of course you can make your custom icons or whatever for your menus that, that you want. So that's uh, pretty much we set up a, an item in our, our menu list that's going to have an ID of new game. Uh, title is going to be new game so this is what's actually going to be displayed to the user and then the next one is going to be exit game for the ID and title is going to be exit game so that will be displayed on the menu to the user and the icons that are going to go with each one of the the menu buttons is going to be the IC underscore menu underscore add for the new game and the close clear cancel for the exit game so go ahead and save that and we'll close out of that and if you're interested in uh, where those icons are I do believe I go over that in the the Android tic-tac-toe uh, series so you can watch that uh, now we're going to our layout open this up and we still have this default um, layout that came with uh, when we made the, the application here so let's go ahead and click on a hello world and delete that we're going to right click on relative layout click change layout and we're just going to use a linear layout uh, you can use relative or however you want to set up your layout it's fine but I'm just going to do this really really quick and simple so I'm going to do a vertical in your layout inside that I'm going to insert a table layout so go over here to layouts drag a table layout over there um, we're only going to need three rows so we can right click the row four and delete okay now in each one of these rows we're going to need uh, three buttons so what we'll do there is we will go up to form widgets Drag a button over one, two, three, and do the same thing for row two here. And then row three. Now I'm not really gonna go over customizing the layout completely you know for in case you have a tablet and a phone and different things like that I'm just going to make it um, just for the Nexus one here that we have so with those go ahead and select all of them uh, you can control click right click set their width to other do zero DP and then we'll go in here and Control click these again, right click, properties by name, or actually we should be able to lay out, yep, lay out weight, that's one, alright, and I want to make sure the height is set to wrap content, wrap content, okay, and if you want to see what this will look like, um, we need to go ahead and edit the text and clear. Okay. 
Select them again. Right click. And since we're going to see what they look like, um, I'm going to do all by name, background. And I guess we actually have to add the images first. So cancel that real quick. Um, I'll make these images available for you guys if you want to use these just to mess around with. Um, so we need to open up the images. And let's see here. And as you can see, these are the images I made. The blank, then one for blue, selected, red, and selected. So I'm just going to copy these and close that down. I'm going to come over here to resources, right click, go to new folder. I'm just going to name it drawable. Click finish. I'm just going to paste these in. And you'll see that they're all inside there. And well, as you see, that they can only have lowercase um, letters and then numbers. So we need to right click on that and rename it. So we'll just do blue underscore selected. Rename. And I'll, I'll rename these before I put them on the website for you guys so you don't have to worry about that. Um, now we have that. Click the console there. Okay, so now we can go back here and select. Oops. Select these right here. Right click, other properties by name, background. Under drawable here, you'll see blank. Click OK. And now you'll see that, but I don't like the height on that. So. Let's just give it a different height. Um, let's try 100 dp. That's better. Okay, so now we're done with those. You'll see I just left the buttons named button 1 through 9 because it's just going to be easy to, to remember anyway. Y'all can name it whatever you want though. And now the only other thing we need is um, I'll just pull out a large text view over here. Add it to the linear lay layout, not the table layout. It's going to come right here now. Right click. Um, say width we want to match parent. And then right click and go to other properties by name. Go for gravity. We'll do center. So I just put the text in the center there. Okay, and I'm going to just rename this one so it'll be easier for me to remember. Um, info display sounds good enough. Okay. So now if you remember from the uh, the previous series at the start, we showed what the game was going to look at look like. So that was this is pretty much what it looks like on that. We're going to use this label here to display whose turn it is and who won. Um, these right here will be populated with red uh, red game pieces at the start. These will be blue at the start, and then you'll be able to move between them. Uh, as long as a valid, it's a valid move, you'll be able to. As long as there's nothing blocking, no other piece already in there. And uh, so that's pretty much got it for our layout. Um, not much more to do there. So the next part's going to be uh, a video in itself, just getting activity all uh, set up. So see how much time we've been on here already. And we've already been on here for a little over nine minutes, so I'll go ahead and I'll cut this off here, and then we'll pick up and do the um, do the main activity. We'll code that in the next uh, part of the series. So I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, and we will finish it out in the next video. Thanks.